the Malta International Airport is situated in the south part of the island of Malta, close to the villages of Lua, Gudia, Safi and Imaba amongst others. Let's check out some facts about this airport. There are lots of places where you can have a quick bite or lunch or dinner, as well as establishments such as Costa Coffee and Fat Harry's where you can have a drink while chatting with your friends. The food court is a great place to hang out before your flight if you are not using Club Valette Lounge, or else the Skyparks building which is a 5 minute walk away from the terminal. The viewing gallery was recently reopened with an outdoor area. It's an amazing place to hang out and watch aircraft depart and taxiing into the apron. It is located on level 3 and you can easily use one of the lifts to get up there. It has quite a modern touch to it and you will definitely enjoy the views from up there. Downside is watching gear cross from behind the glass, which might impair your vision, especially if you're taking photographs, but it's understandable due to safety reasons. Although service is usually quite efficient, the departures terminal is not a large terminal, so it does get quite busy and crowded, especially during peak hours. Showing up two hours before the flight is always recommended. Plans are currently underway to renovate the whole terminal building, including the outdoors. There is a section at the end of the video dedicated to this renovation, so it's not a bad idea to stick till the end of this video. You can also find a Costa Coffee shop in the departures terminal so you can grab a quick drink before checking in for your flight. Free Wi-Fi is available throughout the terminal building. It took quite a while to connect and you didn't speed up the video on purpose. It took 25 seconds to have Wi-Fi available. We also ran a speed test and the speed was quite good. 35 Mbps for the download and almost 4 Mbps for the upload. The 
arrivals terminal is very similar to the departures one, you can get a cab just in front of the terminal or walk a few seconds to the bus stations. You can reach the bus stop by turning to the right as soon as you exit the terminal building. There are more than 1,500 parking spots just outside the terminal. Parking rates are quite reasonable. Reaching or departing from the airport by bus is very straightforward thanks to the four express lines DX1, 2, 3 and 4. Bus tickets are available for purchase at the below points and outlets. Additionally, tickets may be bought on all buses. The Malta International Airport is set to undertake a terminal expansion project which will double the building's current footprint. This project will mainly focus on improving the experience of passenger journey through the airport, most notably within the check-in hall, the security screening area and the departure gates. Let me leave you with a rendered video published on the airport's YouTube channel in January 2020. Also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss videos like this one and let us know in the comment section which airport you want us to review.